There is no question the Tree of Life Synagogue shooting the morning of October 27th shook us all to the core. Among the victims, two brothers, Cecil and David Rosenthal, ages 59 and 54 respectively. The boys, as they were known, were always together and a fixture at the synagogue. They were known for their kindness to others and left a legacy of love and acceptance of all. After their death, the Rosenthal family asked Pittsburghers to share random acts of kindness in Cecil and David's memory. That request has grown into a movement, and people are sharing the acts on a Love, the Bo Love Like the Boys Facebook page. Here to tell us more about it is Lisa Raza. She is the Director of Communications at Achieva, where the brothers were supported with residential and employment opportunities. Lisa, I was on the page this morning, and when we, when we say little but mighty, it's, it's things like this. Um, a woman posted just the other day that she opened up a can of formula, baby formula, and underneath the lid was $20. Right, right. So under that lid, she found a message, you know, the $20 and one of the cards that we have created saying this is an act of kindness for you in memory of David and Cecil. So many people may remember the Rosenthal family took out a full page ad in the Post Gazette and they really wanted the message of kindness to be shared. Tell us about the brothers and what they did on a daily basis to spread kindness. They just, they really embraced life to the fullest. They, they were part of their community, um, part of their congregation, and we at Achieva are just really proud of that because they didn't let their disability get in the way. You know, so many times people are segregated because of their disability, and this wasn't the case with, with David and Cecil. And so the family really wanted to make sure that that message of kindness continued, that message of love continued. So tell us about the Facebook page and what you've seen since it's been created. The page has just grown immensely, much more than I ever thought it would so quickly. Um, we started it in November, and we have over 2,500 people who are now members. Wow. And that's growing. There are people from primarily the Pittsburgh area, but also throughout the U.S. and throughout the world. Um, we have group members from Israel and the U.K. We've had posts made in Italy. And, and so just throughout the world, people are, are sharing this message of love. As you've been monitoring the page and seeing these random acts of kindness, have you seen anything that's really blown you away or really taken you back? You know, it, it's, it's funny. Some of the most touching gestures are the small ones. Right. Um, several people have put 50 cents on a bubble gum machine and to see a small child like find that money right. and her face light up knowing she can buy a toy is amazing. But there are definitely bigger scale, more touching gestures. One woman was at Disney and she gave a fast pass to somebody that she saw there who coincidentally had the same syndrome that David and Cecil had. Um, another story that was really touching was over the Christmas season when a young mom who was having a tough time that year was shopping for gifts for her children and she was gifted with money and one of the cards to, to shop for her family and she said she went out to her car and just, and just cried because she was so touched. Well, you said that you never expected the page to grow, the Random Acts to grow as much as it has. And now, because of all of that, the strength in numbers, you guys are gearing up for a week of kindness in February. Yes, yeah, so coincidentally, February 11th through the 17th is Random Acts of Kindness Week. So we have a lot in store. I hope that people follow the page and, and see what we have planned. Each day we have suggestions for different acts of kindness. And we will launch that week with a, a special breakfast in which Achieva, some of the people we support, can give back to um, people that we've invited along with the Rosenthal family. So that will include some of the first responders, some of the FBI agents, and perhaps some of the other family members who were impacted. And it's just our way of saying thanks and giving back to them. And you've stayed in contact, Achieva stayed in contact with the Rosenthal family. We certainly have. It's really important to us that we honor their wishes and we do whatever we can to keep their memory alive. Um, we've, we've benefited as an organization from countless financial donations in their memory. And so we definitely want to make sure that that we honor them properly. So we have set up a fund in their name as well. Well, before we let you go today, can you quickly tell us if somebody wants to get one of those cards, how do they get one. Sure. So there are several ways. You could go straight to the Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, Love Like the Boys. It's a Facebook group as part of Achieva. 
or it might be a little easier if you want to check out Achieva's website. It's achieva.info backslash love like the boys, and you can find all the information as well as download the cards. Thank you so much for joining Thank us this you. morning and for what you guys are doing. And you can find out more about Love Like the Boys and Random Acts of Kindness Week, February 11th through the 17th on the Achieva website. We posted the link for you at kdka.com slash PTL in case you missed it now.